stupid. I gotta go... Well, first I wanna go... Here. Cause I got many medals to turn in. Arena, it, it, it all rhymed. Except for one line. When she was her most brokenest. Hello, Sherry. Whoa, what the fuck? And welcome to the Mini Metal Exchange, an officially licensed organ of l'Academie de Notre Maître de Medaille. Ah, I see that you have brought me five mini medals. Bon allure, allow me to stamp your album. I think. I think. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that was sad as hell. Felicitation. For collecting 20 stamps, you have earned the magnificent reward of a rune staff. You have completely filled the first page of your album, the medaille. Complete. Oh no lore, the first page of the album is complete. The second page awaits. Hella. At this miniature metal exchange, I am only permitted to stamp the first page of a metal collector's album. If you wish to continue receiving rewards for the mini medals you collect, you must speak with Monsieur Medal, the principal of l'Académie de Notre Maître de Medal. Yep. Oh, big words. Rune staff. A wand within which plentiful reserves of power reside and whose attacks can sometimes paralyze those they strike. 8% chance of paralyzing when attacking. You know, I mean, I guess I'll give it to Rab. It's an upgrade for him. This man. He is reading the words very French. Yeah, it, it probably is really good once I if I upgrade it. I wanna see what the difficulty on that is. Four focus, quadra bash, a strong strike over a set of squares in a two by two arrangement. Ideal for larger items. Cool. Six, seven pearls. Let's see. Oh, wow, that's really efficient. Four squares and it only takes 12. Hot diggity, man. Okay, calm down. Okay, you, I wish you got a crit that time. I shouldn't have told you to calm down. What an idiot. Hello! Good gracious. Well, plus three it is. Easy. <laughs> True. That's exactly how it feels every single time. Oh, does that up the paralysis chance at all? No, it just has very nice stats now. Dude, I need an outfit for Rab. He's the only one that doesn't have the drip. What kind of quests do I have? I haven't been paying much attention to my quests. A gentleman by the name of Valentino. And... Find a Zero the Shadow in Octagonia. Oh yeah. It's fine to these people, but we're not gonna tell you what they look like. Which is reasonable for the kid with the shadow guy. But it's not really reasonable for the lady who wants to talk to Valentino.
So this is where it wants me to check. Shiny, shiny. Let's go down to the mermaid land. I wonder if they all rhyme. It's a pillar of light. Play at Lorelei's harp. The haunting melody. Down we go. Nautica. Welcome to the seabed realm, O oh humans from on high. It has been many centuries since last your kind dropped by. Hell yes, they all rhyme. If you should miss the air above, just tell me and I'll send you. I have the power to summon bubbles, one of which I'll lend you. Well, travelers, what say you? Shall I put my plans in motion and send you and your ship back to the surface of the ocean? No, I'm good for now. You're staying then? In that case, Nautica's through that cave. I hope you have a fine time in the land beneath the waves. Can I see my ship? Oh yeah, look at it. That looks sick, dude. Ooh! Moon gravity. The rainbow grows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Oh, I thought I was actually going to stay glowy like that the whole time. I missed a shiny. Wait! Hold up a moment. It's hard to see the shinies and all this sea, sea grass. This place looks really cool. Whoa. That was Japanese, Eric. Why is all the gasping and stuff still just Japanese? It's so obvious. Crevins. This place is a veritable paradise under the sea. English Eric Just didn't want to gasp at all. And all. You find yourself in Mermaid Town. So we can breathe underwater now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here. I guess we can find out if the story about the giant pearl is just an old wild crumbs. Finding the orb is important, but we need to talk to the queen first. We have to tell her about Michelle. Wait, was there another one? Oh, there is another one up there at the end. The place is really pretty. Oh, mermen are ugly, of course. In all my two score and twenty ten years, I've never talked to a human till today. You must be the guests Queen Marina mentioned. Wait, two score and twenty ten? Two score, I know, but what's twenty ten? Two hundred and forty, maybe? Probably. It's Her Majesty's magic that lets you breathe below the water. A special service for our guests of honor. Without it, you'd be goners. She awaits you in her pearly palace at the pinnacle of the prominence. I speak, of course, at the tower at the top of the hill. He didn't rhyme. Pathetic. <gasps> A literal shark? There's no reply. It doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. <laughs> it's, it's just a shark! It doesn't matter what you are, fid, s fish, squid, mermaid, or man, all I care is that you buy as much stuff as you can! Capitalism, baby! Soft wart. Yeah, the mermaids are cuties. The mermen are not cuties. I'm super disappointed. I wanted, like, sexy Bichon and Mermen. But they're just ugly gremlins. Thanks, Toriyama. I mean, they're cute in, like, a grumpy way. 
But they're not cute when you realize that they... Never mind. What's not? Oh, what's this little buddy? <laughs> He's cute! Blip. Blip. Oh. Oh hoo! You seem nervous. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Please don't eat me. Please don't mash and mash and beat me. Okay. Even have the church down here. I'm a priestess of the sunken spirit with no name. Though our gods differ, let us pray together all the same. I mean, you still have the same, like, symbol. Amen. And a woman. True. A book. Wait, how do they have books down here? A hand-drawn book entitled Living With Me Under the Sea with Tukai, my guy, from Michelle, your bell, written on it. Oh no, I don't want to be sad anymore. Please! Oh Kai, I just can't wait to live with you beneath the sea. A few rules just to help you settle more easily. First, don't panic. Take it slowly. Breathe a nice, deep breath. Panicking while swimming is a recipe for death. Next, no teasing. Just because a fish looks small and meek, his mum might be ten times your size, then you'll be up the creek. Third, don't look up. I'm not sure if you've seen how water flows, but waves can often send the current right up in your nose. Fourth, clean your gills. They're like your lungs. Try not to get them blocked. A bit of grit and you'll be in for quite the nasty shock. Last but not least, think of others. Selfishness is wrong. It's obvious I know, but it'll help you get along. <laughs> Michelle. Queen Marina's orders are the cause of some disquiet. When she told us we must welcome you, it nearly caused a riot. Know this, human beings. If you mean harm to our realm, I'll take this fork and split you from your heel to your helm. Good lord. Be nice to me, ma'am. Okay, where did this guy say the palace was? The pinnacle of the prominence. Was there a staircase inside this? Big ass shell. Welcome to the palace of the queen beneath the sea. Her majesty awaits you in the throne room presently. Alas, the hall is high above and we do not use stairs. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. But you will, but if you will permit me, I will carry you up there. Just take my hand, I'll take you up, as simple as can be. So tell me, are you all prepared to meet Her Majesty? Very well then, hold on tight. We don't want you to fall. A moment swim and we'll be in the Queen's audience hall. Oh, she, is, she looks cool. I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. Very regal. What brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dundrasil? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter. Right, she got the waterproof I eyeliner. The of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. A 
Oh. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. What a nice lady. Boo doo doo doo. I witnessed the whole sorry tale. It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted. And love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. I hope they're on the same branch of the world so tree. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <sighs> Remember... Though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the tree of life, and to the tree return. Mermaid for each other. Awarded for easing Michelle's heart following her ill-fated interspecies romance. It was not chance that brought you here, it was the World Tree's will. No doubt she has some further fate in store for us two still. So set sail on the tide of time. Yeah, you said that already. I was hoping you could give me a little more than that. Humans live on land, mermaids swim the sea, and that's the way it'll always be. Still, in Queen Marina's eyes, we're all equal. Her Majesty's a magnanimous monarch firm but fair. We could all learn a thing or two from her. Yeah, it says, if you're not sure where to find them, ask Queen Marina. But she's not- oh, now she'll say something different. Greetings, Luminary. Pray, what brings you back to me? Do you require the counsel of the Queen beneath the sea? <laughs> I thought so. If you're happy to be led, allow me to advise you on the path that lies ahead. In the western reaches, through a shining whirlpool's swirls, there lies a fine academy for graceful little girls. The master's an eccentric sort. You might think him quite mad, but if you were to visit him, I'm sure he'd make you glad. This is all the vision granted unto me did show. Go forth, my child, and find this place. The world tree wills it so. Alright. Can I zoom out of here? The western reaches. Oh, I can just zoom out of here. See ya!
Um, 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 um. Um. Where's my world map? Oh, that doesn't let me see my destinations. It could be north of here, because that would be west. The western reaches. Or maybe I need to get over by the strand. I don't know. Let's go see! I feel like if I go north from here, then maybe I'll- there will be a path to the west. But maybe not, and I'll have to sail around. Bodkin Fletchers. Damn, Eric. Take it easy, buddy. Oh, what's the new one? Hawkeye Claw. Let's see. Oh! Wow, okay. It's just one hit, but it's thick. It's very thick. I mean, I think I was overleveled for those guys. Yeah. But still, it's pretty big. Let's see if I can go north. Oh, the Mangle Grove? I've been to the Mangle Grove before. No horses permitted beyond this port. Okay. This isn't- this goes east though, so I don't think this is where I want to be. But I want to see where this spits me out. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. E. Ooh. Okay. How come Jade is the only one following me? Oh, never mind. Can I get up through here, my dudes? My good man? This path leads to the top of Mount Pong Lai. No one's allowed up there at the moment, though, by orders of Sir Jasper of Heliodor. He's identified the monastery at its peak as the breeding ground for descent, thanks to its historic links to the Darkspawn. Decent law-abiding folk have no reason to go there. Oh, it's a good thing these guys didn't get the memo. Alright. We're not going that way. So if I go to the strand and hop in my ship... Because the map shows different... Uh, it shows all the disembark points when you're on your ship. Oh, there's an exclamation mark right there. Okay! Should have just gone to the ship first. Little did I know. Yup. What the f? Hello? Otter shambles. Yeah, I want. I want these things dead. They're spooky boys. Otter shambles. Oh no. <laughs> Help. Help. Pew. Maybe it's not huge damage. Maybe it's just an unblockable, undodgeable. It seemed about the same damage as the other thing. These boys are chonky. Oh, he wasn't. I'm sorry, Z-Slime. I love you. 
I love you. Good night. Damn it, Jade. I wanted to see how much a normal attack did. Also, it's still not dead. There he goes. Who else wants some? <laughs> the Crimson Coral. Coral. Yeah, let's see what this island is. Hello, Insula Algarum. What a hoity toity name. You know, somebody pushed up their glasses when they named this place. Mm, yes. N Insula Algarum. Write it in the book, Squire. Raven Lunatics. These guys might be underleveled for me, too. Because they're at, I think they're the same tier as the orcs. Stop yelling! These birds are all yelling at me. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Harvest Moon is the big one. Yay. Yeah, these birds just screech constantly. Nice. No, stop! Whoa. No, stop! Please! Please! They yelled at my whole party. Bro. Yeah, apparently birds are just horrifying. I mean, I guess the fact that they're carrying around human skulls does make them kind of scary, but... Told you I was tough. Alright, I am kind of overleveled these guys. <gasps> I see a thingy. I see you out there. Where's a golden bird? Hey. Hey. I need a- I need to ride a bird. Oh my god, listen to the noise of them all chasing me. STOP IT! <laughs> Hades Condors. Alright, Jade. Or Eric, actually. Eric, you don't have enough multi-target for this one, boy. Boom. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch! Ouch! Apparently I should've put a healer in, too. Oh no. If that only did 37. Let's uh Hypno Whip. I got one. Yeah, if they all target hero and just one turn killed me. No, that wasn't a suggestion. Oh god, these things must be very large, huh? Oh! See ya! Nice, there's another confuse. You're doing God's work, Sylvan though. Sylvan though. I never know which to say. The char different characters say a different way. I think they're both fine. Serena goes, Silvando. But Silvando says, Silvando. That was the wrong heal target. Pew, 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 pew. Nice. Now two of them are confused and the other two are blind. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Ouch! 
Ouch. Oof. Did it say he suddenly grabs Veronica? Don't do that. These things could just pick her up and drop her once they're like 50 feet up. She wouldn't even have a chance. Bonk. Uh -huh. Scree! That's a good bit of XP. Oh, 